Alright, what's going on? Welcome back. Today's gonna be another busy day. We got invited down to an Apple event. It's not one that you'd probably expect when you hear the term Apple event, but it should still be pretty cool. We've only got one issue though. We recently switched over to the S24 Ultra and the TicWatch Pro 5, so we're gonna have to switch things up a little bit. Switching back to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I don't like cases, but this Nomad case or back covering, whatever you want to call it. I'll cover it in another video, but if you haven't seen this or tried this out, you're definitely missing out. Anyways, we've only got one hour to get there. I'm running very late, so let's go. So even though we're running late, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of context because I know this has been kind of crazy, but I got an email saying we're hosting an intimate studio session at the new Dean Cameron recording studio at Massey Hall. The session will feature a special low key intimate performance followed by Q and A with Apple Music's George Strombolopoulos and a studio tour and demo that highlights the innovative tech behind what makes the studio a one of one powered by Mac. So obviously I've never been to an event like this before, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't even know if I can bring my camera and film, but I figured I would try to do it anyways for you guys. If the footage gets kind of weird, it's because I decided to try out the new DJI Osmo Pocket, so I'm not really sure what to expect when I take this thing downtown, but I'm sure it'll be great. So unfortunately I forgot my ND filters, so this might be super blown out. Hopefully the audio is working pretty well as well. Um, but this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. We are downtown probably three minutes from the venue. Luckily it's pretty overcast and the sun's blocked by a bunch of buildings. So I'm sure the footage doesn't look too bad. It's just really hard to get used to looking at the lens on this versus looking at the actual LCD flip out display. Now, usually when I come downtown, I like to park a couple blocks away from my destination because I find in Toronto, there's always something new and exciting going on and I'm always looking for new spots to shoot. And as sort of a compromise, I parked a little bit closer so I could still walk through Dundas Square. If you've never been to this city, there's always something wild going on down here as it is one of the busier spots right beside the Eaton Center. Like if I showed you the clip of the guy that walked past the camera right before me, this video would probably get demonetized. Regardless, the weather was really nice, so it was an easy walk over to the venue. The event was being held here at Massey Hall, which is almost 130 years old. I was a little apprehensive about recording when I first walked in, so unfortunately you can't see the awesome welcome that we received. But once I got the green light, I took a chance to admire all of the beautiful equipment that was set up in this massive recording booth. And they even gave us this glass of champagne, so I was feeling pretty high class. We had a brief welcome and intro from the Allied Music Center and Canadian icon George Trombolopoulos before diving into a private concert by award-winning artist, aka Matisse. So again, we're at Massey Hall. This is the Dean Cameron recording studio. This is a brand new part of the hall. And anyone that's been to Toronto knows that this is a very old historic building, but over the last couple of years, they've been renovating it and updating things. And so this is one of the spaces that's been uh, updated. So just to my left or your right is the actual recording studio. And what's really cool about it is everything in there is running off of a Mac Pro and they have a really incredible setup for spatial audio recording. So they're able to record actual orchestras, bands, whatever out here, and then inside manipulate it all for spatial audio. So I'm just waiting on my chance to jump in there and hear what it's like, see what everything looks like, and check out that Mac Pro. And then hopefully we get a shot at going down on the stage and seeing how everything has been updated down there. But overall, it's been an incredible experience. And again, if you're looking at that artist, it was AKA Matisse. Unfortunately, I can't play the music that he was playing because it's copyright, obviously, and I want to monetize this video. Um, so you're going to be able to check him out on your own. And it looks like it's finally my turn, so let's hop in. So this is where all the engineering and magic happened. It was really cool to get a full breakdown of the production side of things. Watching the way that spatial audio tracks are mapped out and created in real time was pretty epic. And we had a chance to sit directly in the center of this setup and take in the high res lossless audio mixes. 
The Dean Cameron recording studio is powered by a Mac Pro with the M2 Ultra chip. This specific setup is using the Pro Tools HDX PCIe card that can process thousands of audio streams and supports audio and video I.O., storage and networking for the entire building, including the stage below. So this is the stage at Massey Hall and what we just did upstairs with the spatial audio test, everything is running off of the Mac Pro upstairs and all the coax cables run down to the stage. So that entire studio room upstairs, the recording studio, everything down here is all run off of that same Mac Pro. And apparently there's still inputs left over to add more peripherals, to add anything else that they need to it. And it's honestly pretty amazing that this entire building can be run off of one single computer. Obviously the Mac Pro is being very expensive. You, maybe you shouldn't be too surprised. And the new Apple Silicon is pretty incredible. So really it doesn't surprise me, but it's still incredible to think that everything could run off of that one single device. And so that's pretty much it. All in all, it was a pretty cool event. Um, I still can't get over the fact that the entire Massey Hall is running off that Mac Pro. I thought that it was just the, the recording studio that was running off of it, but it's the entire thing. So if you're ever in Toronto and you get a chance to go down to Massey Hall, I know they do a lot of shows, concerts, boxing matches, etc. Uh, it's a really cool place to check out. And if it's your first time ever being there, then you're really going to appreciate it. By the way, we're shooting on the Osmo Pocket right now with the active track. So no matter where I move, I'm always going to be in the frame. The audio probably sucks because I'm in a parking garage and it's super loud. So there's that wireless mic too. Hopefully that's kicking in, doing its thing, but we're gonna go grab some food because I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving. Can I just do a two piece then with the, with the biscuit? Ooh. It's been a crazy day. This is all that I could think of all day. Was finally getting some food and it had to be Popeyes because I'm craving a biscuit, even though they're dry as hell. Bam, man, that's it for me. Much of us always showing up to a bum. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.